Hello, it's Ruby and today I'm going to be showing you my night routine for the night before the first day of school. This is again a part of my Granger BTS series. Make sure to use this tag on Instagram if you want to show me any posts that you have posts relating to back to school. Of course I haven't actually gone back to school yet myself, but I have devised this routine based on what I think I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be restarting this routine with dinner and tonight my mum made courgette risotto. So the first thing I do when I get up to my room is choose my outfit for the first day because I do not want to be worrying about this tomorrow morning. So I decided to wear this Johnny Bowden blue paisley shirt and an M&S blazer alongside a pleated black skirt. I also decided to lay out uh, the things that I would be needing to get ready the next morning, which is my hairbrush, a headband, a hairband, a perfume and a lip balm. And then I proceeded to write my to-do list for the first day of school. So there are just a few things that I always need to do when I get back to school, and I like to have a list of them so that I do not forget them. Then I take the to-do list and put it in the front of my planner, and I thought I was going to fold it, but then I decided against it. So I slide that in my planner and then I go and put that in my school bag because again it is something that I do not want to forget tomorrow. After that I decide to check over my summer homework checklist to make sure that I did do everything and that everything is in my bag. Next I go and get myself a snack from the cupboard to put in my bag and I decided to bring this goodies carrot cake bar and I just slotted that in the side pocket. Next I decide to fill up my water bottle and I used our water fountain for that and a lot of people think that it's very odd for us to have a school water fountain in our hallway but it's actually very convenient especially when you need a drink in the night and you don't want to go downstairs. So then I screw the lid on and I clip that onto the front of my bag. The next thing I do is go through my money box and get some coins for my snack purse because we can buy tuck at school and it's always handy to have some change on you in case you do get hungry. Even though I do have a goodies bar so I probably won't be using this money. So the next thing is to check that everything is in my bag. It's really easy to forget a single notepad or your pencil case and so I always like to make sure that I have absolutely everything. Here I am lighting a candlestick and I always really love to work by candlestick light. It's really calming and it especially gets you into the autumn spirit. Then I will write a letter to my friend Ruby. Uh, we're both very excited for back to school and so this is a great way to remind myself that we are actually going back tomorrow. Here I am reading Harry Potter. I always like to read or watch the Harry Potter series before the first day of term because it really gets me into the back to school mood. Next I choose some pyjamas and then I go to the bathroom. And here I am washing my hands and doing my contact lenses and then I am brushing my teeth. One thing I always do the night before a new term is have a shower and wash my hair. Once I'm out of the shower I brush my hair and put it into plaits so that it will be a little bit wavy. And then I put on some pumpkin pie chapstick
Every year, the night before the first day of the autumn term, I decide to read the whole of Coraline. I've been doing this for about five years now. I actually primarily do it for the very last paragraph, which I'm going to read to you in a second. It just reminds me that summer is over and it kind of helps you to appreciate the summer that you've had. So then I read the New York Times on my iPad and I also write in my log. And then I get started on reading Coraline. Normally on the night before the first day of term, Coraline was apprehensive and nervous, but she realised there was nothing left about school that could scare her anymore. She fancied she could hear sweet music on the night air, the kind of music that can only be played on the tiniest silver trombones and trumpets, and bassoons on piccolos and tubas so delicate and small that their keys could only be pressed by the tiny pink fingers of white mice. Coraline imagined that she was back again in her dream, with the two girls and the boy under the oak tree in the meadow, and she smiled. As the first stars came out, Coraline finally allowed herself to drift into sleep while the gentle upstairs music of the mouse circus spilled out into the warm evening air, telling the world that the summer was almost over. So thank you so much for watching. I hope that you found this video helpful, and I hope that it can help you in ensuring that you have a very productive night before the first day as well. I wish everyone an incredible school year ahead and good luck to everyone who's starting GCSEs or going to a new school or starting A-levels and to those who have already gone back, I hope that you are enjoying it. Remember, I have also got a website, www.pumpkinproductivity.co.uk, where I will be selling a study planner at the beginning of September, so do stay tuned for that. I'm so excited to share it with you and I'm going to be showing the study planning sheets on my channel very soon. So thank you again and have a productive week.